a Southfield woman missing from the family cabin near Traverse City for more than a month. She heard noises at first. She was talking back and forth with her. She sounded panicked. What happened to Ada Quintal? Abducted, missing in the woods. Investigators have no clue. We solve just about everything that comes our way, but this one's a head scratcher. Yeah, this one's a mystery with very little for investigators to go on. A disturbing phone call to a friend may have been the first sign that something was wrong. Our Nick Monticelli has spoken to the investigators and family members and shows us why there are a lot more questions than answers in this case. About 20 miles south of the Sleeping Bear Dunes is Honor, Michigan. Population just over 300. And in a village as small as this, the disappearance of Ada Quintal is a big deal. It's hard not having answers. It's been over four weeks, four and a half weeks. Every day is harder and harder. Jenny Bryson is Ada's sister. She says this cabin has been in their family for 75 years. Ada was there to fix it up. But now a note asking Ada to call if she comes back. Because on October 17th, around 2.45 in the morning, Ada called a friend in Warren, scared. She heard noises at first. She was talking back and forth with her. She sounded panicked. Panicked, saying she saw people outside the cabin. That's when she grabbed her gun while the phone was still connected. Oh my God, there's somebody out there. Oh my God, I shot him in the face. Those were the things she heard. That friend called 911. A deputy arrived at 2.58. Ada was nowhere to be found. Bullet holes showed a gun was fired from inside the home shooting out. But Benzie County Sheriff Ted Schendel says there is no evidence someone had been shot. I mean, other than the bullets, there was uh, really nothing out of place. We obviously didn't find any blood or any evidence of somebody injured or, or any evidence of a struggle. We didn't see anything, both inside the house and outside the house. What they did find just raises more questions. Her boots and a cell phone were found on the roof, her gun in leaves on the ground underneath. Her car was still there with windows shot out from the gunshots. Her purse, her credit cards, her keys, several other cell phones, her dog, all there. So was she abducted? That's one theory investigators have, but police are also considering, did she have some kind of medical issue and is somewhere in the woods? Or did she stage all of this to run away? That's a possibility. I almost hope so, Nick, because then she's still alive. That's all I want is to know that she is okay. The night she disappeared, investigators searched the area around the cabin. And again, the following weekend with an organized search party. Nothing has turned up. From the, from the time it started till the time of where we are right now, there's just a lot of missing pieces of the puzzle. Someone took her. That's what my gut tells me, even though it's a scary possibility. The Michigan State Police have also been called in to assist with this, but right now, much of the same, not finding anything that points to one theory or the other. Frustrating for her family and a small town searching for answers. Nick Botticelli. Local four. Well, you just pray that she is okay. Ada's boyfriend was with her at the cabin until two days before the incident. Since he was the last person to see her, he was a person of interest, but nothing more. Ada's family is offering a $25,000 reward for information, but it expires at the end of this month. The hope is that somebody, if somebody does have her, they'll want that money in exchange for her safety. Let's certainly hope so. Yeah. Such a mystery.